Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this object here. Let's get started. Let's start out by creating a new component. Select the top view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's use the center rectangle and add dimensions. Select the entire rectangle. Let's make it a construction line. What we're gonna be doing is using this rectangle as a guide. Select the line tool and create the profile as follows. Make sure that when you draw this angle out of a line, it's perpendicular to this line here. Add dimensions. Let's now select the line tool again, construction line. From this edge to this edge, let's draw a center line. We're gonna be using this as our mirror line to mirror this object here. Turn off construction, select the mirror command, select the lines. The mirror line is gonna be the line we just drawn. And that's complete. Let's use the two point rectangle and drag it out. And let's start adding some dimensions to lock it down. From the bottom edge to this edge here, we're gonna make this 35 millimeters. I'm gonna make the width, excuse me, the height of the rectangle, 80 millimeters. I'm gonna make the overall length 105 millimeters. Let's go back and let's make this particular edge here. So if you have two lines and you want to select one, just left click and hold until you see the line you want. Left click on it. We'll make that a construction line. We'll select that and we'll make that a construction line as well. We're going to use the center point arc. We're going to start here at this point here when you see the triangle and the X at the center point. Here, bring it up to the top corner and bring it down and there you have your arc. Let's complete the profile to lock it down. And as you can see, it's fully defined now. Let's finish the sketch. We're going to use the extrude command. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. Distance is going to be 40 millimeters. We're going to use the fillet command. We're going to select full round fillet, select the inside, and it gives us a full round fillet. We're going to create a sketch on this bottom foot here. Use the line command and let's search for the actual center point of the radius of this arc here. And you'll see a circle. We grab that, we drag it up, and we also drag it to the edge here. Finish the sketch. We're going to use the revolve command. Select this profile. The axis is going to be the bottom edge. Operation is going to be set to join, not cut. Now we want to join this to this part here. So we're going to select the extrude command, select this bottom face. Extent type is going to be two object. Select this back here and it's set. Next, we want to mirror this side to this side. So we select the mirror command. Object type is going to be features. Select the revolve and extrude we just created. Mirror plane 
It's going to be this plane here in the center. Compute type is going to be identical, not adjust or optimized. All right. I'm going to create a sketch and put it back on the top plane once again. I'm going to use a two-point rectangle. Start at this edge here and bring it down to this edge here. And we're going to add some dimensions. Finish the sketch. Once again, we'll use the extrude command. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement whole length. Distance is going to be 20 millimeters. Operation is going to be set to join and not cut. Just keep in mind, I could have done a lot of this in one sketch, but I like to keep my sketches clean. Once it gets too cluttered, it becomes very confusing. Moving right along. We're going to create a sketch once again. We're going to put it on the same plane. We're going to once again use a two point rectangle. And in the center, we want the arc center as well, but it's not showing up. So I'm going to drag over until I hit the center point of this arc and drag it over until I see that circle again. There we go. Let's add some dimensions. All right. What I'm also going to do here is this edge here, I'm going to make construction and I'm going to use the center point arc once again. Start at this point to this point and bring it around and it'll snap. We want to join it together to fully define it. Now that it's fully defined, we can finish the sketch. And next we're going to use the revolve command. Profile is already selected. We select this edge as the axis. Operation is going to be set to join once again, and it's complete. Select the fillet command. Make sure we change it from full round fillet to regular fillet. Select this edge. We're going to make it 20 millimeters. And then finally, we're going to drag and select the entire object, add one more fillet, and make this entire fillet one millimeter. And the operation is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around, and I'll see you in the next video.